So this time we're going to start in Brighton, you can see the pier, and we're going to zoom out and see if we can find the continent that we're learning about, see if we can find Africa on Google Earth. I hope you've had a time to sort of play around with Google Earth yourself, because it is really fun. So I've now zoomed out so you can see the United Kingdom. You can see the whole of our country. If you watch the weather on the news, you might be used to seeing that shape of our country with Ireland on one side and Scotland at the top and Wales sticking out on the other side and the rest of the country is England. So now if we need to find Africa, we're definitely going to have to zoom out a bit more. And we also have to put the world the right way up because we're not at the centre of the world. We're right up there. Now, as I'm zooming around here, this huge shape comes into view. And that huge shape is Africa. So it does look a bit like an elephant's ear. And you might notice compared to our country, Africa is completely different colours. The top of Africa is like a sandy orange colour and that's mainly desert because it's so dry, there's not enough green to make it look green. If you look down at the bottom, there's another massive desert down the bottom of Africa as well. You might notice that the centre is incredibly dark and that's a tropical area. It's where there's lots of rainforests and so there's lots of tree cover and it's really dark. And then you can see these shapes here are lakes. And some of those lakes are as big as a whole country. So that is Africa without any of the countries marked on it. So now we're going to have a look at it on a map. So here is our class map of Africa. So this is the whole continent of Africa. But Europe is on there as well. So this green bit up here is some of Europe. And where it says we are here, that's us down there in Brighton and it shows how small the bottom of our country is compared to the great big continent of Africa. All the different colours are countries, so every colour is a country. So you can see up here Algeria is a really big country, Libya is a big country and Egypt is quite strange because it's almost got like a right angle, like a square corner and there are some islands that are countries. You might have heard of Madagascar which is down there with a film about the penguins of Madagascar. And South Africa is the easiest one to remember because it's right down in the south. And sometimes there's countries inside countries. So the Soto is inside South Africa. It looks almost like it's a lake in South Africa. And Sierra Leone, which is a country our school has links with, and Mrs Keeley has actually been to Sierra Leone. I might record her talking about it later. It's a tiny little country on the west coast. So that's West Africa, that's East Africa, this is South Africa down here. And up the top we've got some places where people go on holiday sometimes. There's Morocco, there's Tunisia, and those are actually the Canary Islands like Lanzarote and Tenerife. And they're not part of Africa, they're part of Spain. But look how close they are to Africa. They're closer to Africa than they are to Spain and that's why they're so hot and sunny. And right through the middle that line there is the equator. It cuts right across the middle of Africa. You can see these blue bits as well. These are lakes, which are almost the size. They're bigger, some of these lakes, than countries. So at the moment, there are 54 countries in Africa. And there are two countries that are disputed at the moment. But there are 54 that are listed. Some of them have changed their names. In fact, the first one we're looking at here, this flag, this has recently changed its name. So this says Swaziland, and it's now called Eswatini, but the flag is still the same. So I'm going to see, I've got to read them upside down because I'm looking at a reflection. So I might need help from Mrs. Lewis sometimes. So this is Swaziland. Then we've got Morocco, I can't make a big noise. Libya and Malawi. And, oh, I'm not sure about that one. Comoros, not sure how to say some of these. Niger. Now Sierra Leone I do know about because that's the one the school has some links with and that one's called Tanzania, Gambia, Mali, Tunisia, just check, yeah, Tunisia, Gabon, Uganda, Western Sahara, Namibia, which I think is quite new there, South Africa, which is the big one at the bottom, 
Mozambique, just checking. Oh, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, Rwanda, Ghana, Algeria, Angola, Kenya, and that's the country we're going to be learning a lot about. So you'll be seeing that flag with the spears and the shield on it again. Kenya, oh, I don't know how to say this one, Djibouti, I think it's Djibouti. This one's Ethiopia, and this is a French word, Côte d'Ivoire, Côte d'Ivoire, I think so. That's Guinea, and Madagascar, and Chad, and Burkina Faso. If you know all these, you'll do very well at that poem called Pointless. Congo, Burundi, Senegal, Mauritania, it's an amazing name, Lesotho, I'm making a big mess on the floor here because I'm just blocking them, Togo, I have to pick them all up in a minute, Congo, and that's the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, Somalia, Mauritius, Zambia, should have put these in alphabetical order, shouldn't we, Benin, Egypt, and that's the place that's got the pyramids, so you might have heard of that one, Egypt. And we've got Equatorial Guinea, and Zimbabwe, and Eritrea, Nigeria, Central African Republic, we need it then now, Cameroon, Botswana, that's going to be last, Liberia, that's a bit like the American flag, and the Seychelles. Now there were 53 there, if you counted, so one's missing. We've obviously lost one, we're not sure which one it is. So that could be a challenge. You could look at a list of the African countries and see if you can work out which one's missing. I think it might be something really small, like something, I think Principe Satomi or something. There's definitely one missing though, so you can have a look and check. And I might take a photo in a minute of what the floor looks like, because it's a big mess. As you can see, Mrs. Lewis was not impressed with the mess, but I didn't make her pick them up. I did pick them up myself. I think I made one mistake at least. There's probably a few more. I think it was Burkina Faso and not Burkina Fasa. And you might spot some more mistakes, but it's quite hard to know how to read those words. But that shows you how many countries are in Africa. Africa itself isn't a country. It's made up of 54 separate countries. So this map might be slightly easier to see, to actually read the names. If you look up there, there's Egypt. There's the Canary Islands I was talking about. Up here we've got the Mediterranean Sea. There's sort of Greece and Turkey are up here. And Spain's up here. So that shows how close Europe is to Africa. And we've got the Democratic Republic of the Congo right in the middle. Kenya is another country that we're going to be learning about later on in the term. We try and move it up a little bit so you can see the bottom. So right down the bottom is South Africa and there's the island of Madagascar. We've got the Atlantic Ocean on this side and the Indian Ocean on the other side. And the whole shape of Africa does look a bit like an African elephant's ear. So next time we look at a picture of an elephant, if they're African elephants, they have much bigger ears and they're in the shape of Africa. So your task is to find out five facts about African countries or Africa. It doesn't have to just be five. If you want to find out ten, that's brilliant. So here's some ideas. You could find out what's the biggest country in Africa, what's the smallest country in Africa, what's the hottest country in Africa, maybe the country where there's the most rain, which is the country that has the most people living in it, or which is the country that has the least people living in it which is the coldest country. You could find out the name of the highest mountain in the whole of Africa, the biggest lake, the longest river. There's a very famous long river in Africa. So I want you to find out five facts about different African countries and write them down because I'm going to be asking you to share them with us. So write down the facts that you can find out. And remember, when you're Googling facts about different topics, it always helps if you put four kids at the end because then you get some answers that are easier to read and often you'll get like the top 10 facts. 
You could use the questions that you wrote for today's English task and find the answers to those. So if you wrote, what is the highest mountain? You can put that question into Google and you can find out some statements that answer the questions that you asked this morning. And finally, the website that had the continents game where you had to click on the continents also has a similar game for Africa. Now, obviously, this one is incredibly hard and I don't think I'm going to do very well at this one. So you just have to click on the countries. It tells you which one it wants. And if you, it doesn't matter if you haven't got an idea because you just click on everything until it comes up or you can skip. Now, I definitely don't know where Rwanda is. I'm going to skip. Ghana. Whew. Guess. Nope. 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 Hopeless. I'm going to skip that one as well. Madagascar. Yay. I do know that one because it's an island. Namibia. Now, that's where meerkats live. I think it's a desert down the bottom. Did I get that one right? Yes, I did. We've got two. Tunisia. Remember, we said that was up the top where people go on holiday. I'm not sure which one it is. Is it that one? Oh, no. No. Did I get it? Yeah, three out of 54. Don't know where Eritrea is. Cape Verde. I think they are islands. Are they down there? Oh, no. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're not islands. Those are. Oh, yes, they are. Now, I should know where Sierra Leone is, but it's so small. I think it's that red one there. Yes, I got Sierra Leone. Sudan. Oh, I should know where that one is. It's quite big. Nope. 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 Well, there you go. I thought I knew where it was. Is it that one? Yes, <laughs> I got it eventually. So you can have a go at that one because in the end, you'll fill in the whole map and you can sort of zoom in to see where the places are. And it will just let you have loads of goes. So at the moment, I've got six out of 54 and I've had 17 attempts already. So I think it probably lets you have loads and loads of attempts and see if you really persevere, you might end up labelling the whole map. So have a go at that. <laughs>